welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, thank you for stopping by. My name is Natural Nikki, and on this channel, I like to talk about natural hair and products. As you can see, today my hair is, is in an old braid out, and it's my wash day. So I wanted to tell you guys, or show a little bit about how I wash my hair. But before I get into that, I just wanted to talk to you guys about a little bit of the things that I've been doing since I hadn't been filming for a while. I went to a meet and greet with African Pride, and I met I Am Treya. She's here on YouTube. If you would like, you would go over to her channel. She has a really good channel, and she was so nice when I met her. I used African Pride products when I did this braid out on my hair. And I went to a networking event for women in my area, the Baltimore area. And it was called Sister Sessions. And I want to shout out all of the ladies that was there. It was hosted by a lady with her name. It's called Lioness. I'm not sure of her whole name. But if you follow me on Instagram, I can link you to her Instagram and a lot of the other ladies that were at the event. And I also wanted to go to Lustre's Pink event. It was also held in my area of Baltimore. But I wasn't able to go to that. But I look forward to maybe going to one of their events in the future and using their products. And I'm also going to be going to an uh, event by Dana Bolden. It's on Saturday. I'm filming this on Friday. So by the time that this video goes up, I'll probably already have went. But I'll put some footage on my Instagram. If you follow me there, you can check it out. And also, today I'm going to be using on my hair is Design Essentials because I'm going to be blow drying my hair and I'm going to be flat on in my hair for the event. And those products you use when you're blowing your hair out so that way it won't damage your hair. And this is the shampoo. It's black owned. And I love to support black owned businesses. Sister Sessions had a lot of black owned businesses there. It was a business called Bear Radiance that she sells um, natural products for your hair, skin, um, shea, shea butter, and stuff like that. And you can follow her on Instagram at Bear Radiance. I will link her. Instagram also if you follow me there and I'll try to put it in the description box as well and I wanted to shout out my daughter she has a business called Shaeve Cosmetics it's S-H-Y-E-V-E -E Cosmetics and she sells lip gloss and you can follow her on Instagram as well the, and I'll try to put her information in the description box as well for her website where you can purchase her lip glosses. I wanted to shout out a couple other companies. Um, the company called EcoSlay because I won um, a contest on their Instagram page. Shout out to EcoSlay. It's also black owned, women owned. And I won their edge control. It's called Applesauce. And I think an edge control brush. And I'm so excited. I have to go check my P.O. box and get it. And I'll review it and let you guys know how I like it. And I also won a deep conditioning microwavable heat cap from another black owned business, woman owned, called Curly Beauty Supply CO. And you can find them at curlybeautysupplyco.com. And you can also find them at Curly Beauty Supply CO on Instagram. So shout out to all you ladies. Keep doing your thing. And I love and support all of you guys. I also love and support other businesses as well. So I wanted to show you guys how to do your wash, wash your hair. Some of you may already know, but some of you may not. When I remember when I first went natural, I really didn't know how to wash my hair. Like, because I was so used to when I was relaxed, I would just wash my hair all together and it would be fine because it was relaxed and it wasn't hard to detangle or anything like that. But when you're natural and your hair starts getting kinkier in texture, and if you're a type 4 natural like myself, which your hair tends to be thick and kinky, it can get very tangled, especially when you wash it. So when you wash your hair, 
First thing I'm going to do is wet my hair. I'm just going to squirt it with some water just for the sake of the video. Make sure you saturate it really well. Well, if you want, you can do like a pre-pull treatment before you actually wash your hair, which I really needed to do, do because I feel like my hair is a bit dry and my scalp, so it's just to prepare your hair for the shampoo because sometimes shampoos can be really drying to your hair and it's like an oil you can put on your hair. I used to use coconut oil, but I don't have any right now, so that's why I'm not really doing a pre-pool. I do have some olive oil. I think you can use olive oil, too. It depends on your preference. A lot of people pre-pool their hair with a lot of different things, so it's up to you and your preference. And when I did this braid out, I also didn't film it, but maybe one day in the future I will film a braid out because it was like my first or second time doing a braid out and it was my I think it was my yeah it was my first time and this is my second one I believe and um I had saw a girl named Kimberly I'm not sure of her whole Instagram and YouTube name but she's here on YouTube I'll try to link her in the description box as well and she was featured on LK Natural's Instagram page and I really liked her braiding curls so I was like, I'm going to try to do that, and I did it, and it came out really nice, but I used um, African Pride, and I really love the African Pride Moisture Miracle line. But um, when you're washing your hair, make sure you section it. If your hair is thick and type 4 like mine, because that's very important, so that way you won't have tangles like... I didn't know, like I said, I didn't know to section my hair. And so, most people section their hair in four sections. But really, when I wash my hair, most of the time, I really put it into more than four sections. But for the sake of the video, I'll just put it in a few sections. And I got these clips. I won these as well. They're the main choice crocodile clips. And um, I won them from a lady named Cherie71 on Instagram. You can follow her there. She's so nice. I really like these clips. They really came in handy for me because I don't really have any. And I definitely be needing to section my hair and keep sections of my hair out of the way when I'm washing and styling and stuff. So they really come in handy. And like I said, I'm going to be using the uh, Design Essential Shampoo. Let me grab one of my clips I kind of dropped. <laughs> because I'm going to be blow drying my hair out for the event. And I also wanted to show you guys um, this wand curler because I'm going to put some wand curls in my hair for the first time with this wand curler and it's a uh, Remington I got it from Target I've never used it before so I'll let you guys know how I like it I'm sure my style will come out nice okay so I'm gonna start with the shampoo like I said remember to section your hair and make sure you saturate it very well with water before you put the shampoo on because it's very important <laughs> so you won't have tangles and when I use my shampoos nowadays I'm not like combing my hair out with the shampoo in it sometimes I do but recently I'm trying not to because I want to like lose a lot of my hair I'm trying to retain length so I'm trying not to like comb my hair out when my when I have shampoo in my hair so that way I can try to retain some length and I can just like finger detangle you want to finger detangle so that way you don't have tangles and yeah 
just make sure you section I dropped my clip and get your scalp and stuff like I really when I wash my hair I don't wash my hair in the shower but in the future maybe I'll do a shower video because I know people like shower videos but I don't wash my hair in the shower I wash it at the sink and I really sit like this when I do my hair and I mean when I wash my hair and I really like get into my scalp like I actually like take a toothbrush and scrub it and stuff so I can make sure it get clean because like I told you guys in my last video I'll be having a bit of dandruff sometimes I drop my clip and yeah so I really make sure I get my scalp and I just really sit just like this rinse it out then I put the conditioner in rinse it out I'm going to be using the Aussie Moist 3 Minute Miracle deep conditioner because I don't have any other things this is what I'm using and I'm going to be using the Sign Essentials Blow Dryer and Styler Primer for blow drying my hair and I'm going to be using Design Essentials. This line is called Agave and Lavender and this is for the Blow and Silk Press Blow and Silk Press collection. This is what I'll put on it when I flat on it before I flat on it and I'm going to be using this conditioner the L'Oreal Alvive L -V, L -V, however you pronounce it Total Repair 5 Repairing Conditioner I know I use a lot of products you guys and um as you can see like my sections and stuff just make sure you section your hair when you wash it. That's very important. That's what I really wanted to show you guys and tell you guys to section it, you know, when you wash it. And I'm going to put this little cap on my head when I do my deep conditioning treatment. And I have a, a blow drying thing that I put on from African Pride and it'll put the heat into my hair when I deep condition. So that's it you guys. I just wanted to do like a little demo and show you guys like how to section your hair off when you wash your hair so that way you won't have tangles and detangle section by section so it won't be tangled and after you finish detangling you can just roll it up like this if you want use whatever you want it's your preference you can use a ponytail holder to hold them or bantu knotted to hold it or use the clips like i'm doing to keep your sections detailed so i hope you guys like this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye guys